Hello. Welcome to our kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own vegan cat food. All right, so just to start off here, first we have five cups of quick oats. You want to do the quick oats because that's going to make it easier and faster to make your own cat food. I've got three cups of textured vegetable protein, also called TVP for short. Here I've got a cup of veggie yeast. Veggie yeast is a special yeast. It's uh, sold by the same people that sell the supplement and uh, harbingers of a new age. And basically what it is is it's a kind of yeast that adds protein and it's a little bit more acidic. It's kind of like nutritional yeast but more acidic for cats and dogs and they love the smell and taste of it. It kind of gives a unique flavor. And then I'm using veggie kit. Now there are different different types of cat food supplements available. Veggie kit is if you have a kitten um, and it's appropriate for all ages, but I'm using it because we've had a kitten in the house for um, the last year or so. And uh, he's already probably old enough to go to the veggie cat, which I've got a small bottle of right here. However, uh, we just want to go ahead and use this up and since it is appropriate for all ages, um, we'll go ahead and use that. VegiCat pH is, um, is a different kind of supplement that's used for cats that are prone to urinary tract infections. I have some. We haven't really had that issue, but uh, it's formulated just a little bit differently. And finally, here we have three teaspoons of low-salt soy sauce. You can use the regular soy sauce as well, kind of just add some salt. Then I've got uh, four tablespoons of oil, and then we've got peas and carrots, which I like to add at the end just to add a little bit of extra roughage and vitamins and nutrients. So without further ado, I've also got some hot water here uh, ready to go. So you're going to be amazed at how easy this is to make. So what I do is I just pour this in there, I get it in there, just pour all the dry ingredients. In. I usually like to put this on the ground and uh, one of our kitties, Peanut, might come and lick this. We'll see if he does. Uh, but anyway, I pour in the four tablespoons of the veggie kit here. Now I've got all the dry ingredients in there, so I just kind of mix it up. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're still going to be mixing this up here and, you know, once we add the the water, but I like to do as much pre-mixing as I can because it makes it a little bit easier later and it allows you to be more even in your distribution. So then, you can fill up a tea kettle with hot water. I just kind of, I've experimented with different, different amounts of water. If you do end up where you've got too much in there, just let it sit for a little bit longer and it will absorb. Um, really doesn't even take very long if you do that pre-mixing and kind of save some time here. Sometimes though if I'm doing something else I'll just kind of, I'll just sit and stir this while, you know, I listen to music or, or talk to Jessica or something. Now the cats will probably, usually they come in by this time and they're, they're screaming because they can, they can smell this. You want to cool it before you actually feed it to them or at least put some cold water in what you do feed to them because it's going to be really hot. Then, go ahead and add that olive oil. You want to use olive oil because it has the right fatty acid balance. It's the ideal. You can also use high oleic safflower oil, but olive oil is the preferred, so we just like to get the extra virgin olive oil when we buy it in one of those big containers. That's the soy sauce. You can use tamari. It's also a, an option for salt that you can use. I think it's a, uh, an eighth teaspoon, and we're actually quadrupling the recipe. So, um, I'm sorry, yes, quadrupling. So it's going to be um, a half teaspoon of salt rather than if you want to use that instead of uh, soy sauce. I find soy sauce has a little, a little more flavor for them. It's a little bit easier to mix than dry salt. So you just mix this up really nicely, and you see it's, it's actually really uniform because I did most of the mixing beforehand. 
And then, I, I'm not really exact with the measurement on this. Oh yeah, I just like to get enough to kind of move some there. That helps to cool it down some too because we're using frozen peas and carrots. There's different things you can use. Um, peas and carrots are kind of nice because uh, most of the cats will just kind of eat them as they're going along. It's like a little treat for them. It just And it also gives you an idea of how well your cat food is mixed. But basically that's all there is to it. Once you're once you're done with this, you can just kind of let it sit and cool. I talked about the veggies. What we do, we've got six cats. So we like to buy this stuff in bulk, and then we just pour it into the smaller container. Now I'm going to add the enzyme. Now, Vegan Essentials sells one that's branded by the same people that make the supplements, uh, Harbingers of a New Age. It's called Prozyme Vegan. I actually found out that Prozyme Vegan is the same thing as Prozyme Plus, which is the lactose-free version of Prozyme. There's a Prozyme that has dairy in it. But if you get Prozyme Plus, it's probably about a third of the price. You get a lot more, and this will probably last me over a year for six cats, I think, and it cost me about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. So I've already mixed some up here with the water, and so I just add like, you know, a couple of or a few spoons full. I just kind of mix it up in there. If it gets too watery, you can always just add a little more, a little more cat food. Make sure we get a couple of peas in there. And let's see how Peanut likes it. Peanut! <laughs> There you have it. Easy to make vegan cat food.